Hello everybody, it is that time of year again and we are decorating our pumpkins. So if you want to see how I decorated my pumpkins and get some ideas for your own pumpkin decorations then stay tuned. So I headed down to our local grocery store that had lots of pumpkins and I also think some of these are like squash pumpkins, I don't know if that's right, let me know if you know anything about pumpkins, the ones with the more ribs I think are like squash pumpkins, and I got them because I think they'll look really cool painted because it'll just add an extra texture, and then I've got the larger pumpkins too. Now when I pick my pumpkins for painting, I always try and pick pumpkins with stems because I think the stems look really cool painted, so I try to pick ones with really cool stems. So I have spray painted my pumpkins first. Now I didn't film myself spray painting the pumpkins because I was worried about getting spray paint on my camera as I didn't have anyone to help me operate the camera today. Um, so I have spray painted my pumpkins black, white and blue but one of them will be rose gold. It just hasn't come yet but hopefully it will come today and we can spray paint one of the white ones a rose gold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to dry. I'm going to leave them overnight to dry and paint them the next day. So it is the next day and we are going to be painting our pumpkins I'm really excited. I've pinned lots of ideas on Pinterest and if you're interested in looking up more ideas then go and check out my Pinterest board. I will put my name up above. Follow me on there as I pin lots of really awesome ideas onto the board and there's loads of pumpkin ideas there too to look at. So this first one is going to be a ghost one which I think will be really fun. So I have sketched on with a pencil the outline of my ghost and then I'm going to paint on it with white acrylic paint and I think this will be nice and simple, it's a really good one for people to try, especially if you're a beginner like me, I'm not that good of an artist. If you are um, a really good artist this one might be very easy for you um, but I think it will look really sweet once done. So on this one I'm going to write the wording fall. I really love fall and I thought it was really nice to just go with a nice simple design and use gold with the blue and write on it fall. And I'm also going to paint the stem a really nice gold too and I think that would look really sweet. And I really like mixing lettering with kind of pattern designs with the pumpkins. I think it looks really nice and effective. So this one is paying homage to one of my favourite Halloween movies. It is, yes that's right, of course it is, it's Hocus Pocus. So I'm writing Hocus Pocus on this one. If I was really good at painting I definitely would have a go at doing like one of the Sanderson sisters or all three of them. And if you are good at doing artistry then I think you should definitely give it a go on a pumpkin because I think that would look amazing and I would love to see it if you do. So you know, um, I have Instagram send me a picture on Instagram I would love to see them that would be really awesome but I think that would be such a good idea but as I'm not so good at painting pictures I've gone with just writing hocus pocus on the pumpkin I still think it looks really effective and I'm also going to paint the stem of the pumpkin gold <laughs> So my little ghosts have dried, my white ghosts have dried and I am now painting on the faces. I'm going to give them lots of different faces, some are going to be happy, some are going to be kind of like more shocked and other faces kind of perhaps a bit more angry, just to add a bit of diversity to all the uh, ghosts so they're all a little bit different and I think it's going to be a really sweet one to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
I absolutely love the way the stems look when they're painted. I think they look really awesome, which is why I always try and pick stems, like pumpkins with stems, because I just think it looks they look really good and they add a lot of character to the pumpkin. Now this one was one of those ones that had those ribs, and I think maybe if you were clever, you could maybe turn this like one of these into like a spider. You could paint the legs black and then maybe out of paper or something create like the spider's body. I think that would look really awesome. <laughs> So I am just touching up the lettering on this full one. My paint came out a little bit funny on the pumpkins this time. I don't know if it's just because my paint is a little bit older um, or if actually maybe using like a pen would work really well on the pumpkins. Let me know if you've tried it, if that's better than using actual paint. I am using acrylic paints um, and it does come out okay and it stays on, but it has been quite difficult this year. And I think maybe it's because some of my paints are a bit older and aren't like going on as well. I'm really loving like the contrast of the black and the white on this pumpkin. The boo really contrasts really nicely on the white and I've also done an eek and I'm also going to do again the stem gold and maybe have some of the gold come out onto the pumpkin a little bit too because um, I think that would look really sweet as well. <laughs> So on this one I'm going to write fall again because I think it will look really cool, the white with the black. Um, I am giving some of these as gifts to friends so um, having more than one with fall on will look really awesome um, and be nice for somebody else. And I just think I really like the white contrasting with the black. So here are my final pumpkins. Here is my Hocus Pocus. I think it came out really nicely. Um, if I was a bit braver I might have tried to add a bit of gold to the lettering. I really like this one. I think the bl blue goes really nicely with the gold. And I also love the black contrasting with the white on this one. It's really cute. And I love the rose gold on top, kind of edging into the pumpkin. It almost looks like a, um, a pumpkin-y colour, like a rustic colour. I think the ghosts are really sweet, a really nice easy design if you want to um, maybe go with pictures rather than lettering. And it was quite easy to do. And I'm sure you guys can come up with lots of different things too with the ghosts. I really like this one, um, I love the way the gold goes onto kind of the rose gold, it looks really cute and again I think you could turn one of these pumpkins into a spider um, as well, I think that would be a really nice idea too. And then here is the other full one with the gold and the white and the black, I think it looks sweet. This one was harder to do because of the ribs, so if you do get a rib pumpkin maybe think about what you want to do on it and here they are all together. I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you're doing with your pumpkins this year, are you painting them? If you do please share with me some of your designs, I would love to see them, go and check out my Pinterest as I have lots of pumpkin ideas pinned there and I will see you next time. I hope that you all have a wonderful, magical, amazing day wherever you are in the world, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon.